Guys, welcome back to Just In Tech Tips. Due to popular request, we've got the all new MSI GE76 Raider. Many are calling this the fastest gaming laptop that you can possibly buy right now. Is it though? Either way, we're super excited to be unboxing and giving you our first-hand impressions of this super powerful machine. We're also going to be setting it up and taking a look at the internals as well as giving you a quick preview of some gameplay. Make sure to like and subscribe to be notified of our live benchmarks and full review next week. The model we got costs a whopping $3,100 and includes an i7-11800H 8-core processor with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 graphics card with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 dedicated video RAM. This video was not sponsored by MSI, but I would like to thank the actual sponsors of this video, Viper Antivirus. Their focus is on prevention using something they call advanced active protection, which stops malware threats before they can be dangerous. Rather than just helping you remove the virus once it's already found you, it can scan your email to filter out spam, blocks external access to your camera and microphone. It also prevents any tracking of your device. See below in the description for more information. All right, let's open this up. Nothing too fancy about this box. It's definitely not an Alienware. Little foam pieces off. Wow, it's definitely a heavy laptop. It feels just about as heavy as that Alienware X17 that I reviewed last week. It's wrapped in plastic and cloth. Look at that. You can see we got the nice MSI logo right here wrapped in this anti-static material. And now for the big reveal. Look at that. Looks like a spaceship. We've got these really cool extrusion jet outs right here around the hinges. Overall, a pretty thick and heavy laptop, so you would assume that that would give it somewhat of an advantage when it comes to thermals. Put that down and see what else we got in the box. Let's see, we got a user guide, an F3 hotkey recovery function. Wow, there's a whole book for that. Then we got a limited warranty summary, a reward program. Let's see what this power brick looks like. It feels pretty heavy. Yeah, it's pretty massive. So we've got a 280 watt power brick. Pretty big, but not as big as that 330 watt power brick for my X17. And we got our power cable. Overall, the build quality feels pretty solid and durable. The matte finish on the metal chassis and the metal lid feels really smooth and reflects light in a really appealing way. I'm actually kind of liking these angular extrusions around the hinges. Feels very sci-fi and just kind of completes the overall strong and beefy look of the laptop. I do kind of wish the material on these extrusions matched the rest of the laptop and wasn't so reflective. This random glossiness just stands out too much in my opinion. Because everything's made out of metal, it feels pretty cold to the touch and it's definitely not a stranger to fingerprints. All right, let's open this up. Wow, they even custom branded their blanket with their MSI logo. They're really proud of that dragon. All right, let's take that off. Well, stickers galore. I think their sticker guy got a little carried away. Way too much clutter and stickers on this thing. Overall, the layout looks pretty good. We've got a number pad right here. The keys are a little squished in, which I'm not a huge fan of. The keyboard feels pretty good. It's definitely not a full mechanical keyboard, but you can tell they at least tried to get somewhat close to that. I am pretty impressed with how quiet it is. It looks like they partnered with SteelSeries to get this somewhat of a premium feel without being a full mechanical keyboard. Pretty decent key travel. We've got some ventilation here on the sides, a very small touchpad, especially compared to my Alienware M17 touchpad. The clicking mechanism feels pretty nice. Then you can see at the top we've got our 1080p webcam. I'm actually really excited to check out the quality on that considering most of the laptops that I've tested are 720p and don't look that great. This will be the first 1080p webcam that I've tested out on this channel. All right, now let's open this up and take a look at the internals. So you can see we've got a very nice and unique hexagon layout here with a little bit of staggered ventilation. These nubs right here are extra thick in order to create somewhat of a lift, a little bit of a gap to allow for more airflow. So you can see we've got a very clean setup here. We've got our two fans right here surrounded by a bunch of heat pipes. 
our two upgradable RAM slots. We've got our Wi-Fi 6E card, two SSD drive slots, our speakers right here, and then at the bottom, our 99 watt hour battery. It's pretty interesting that every single one of these pieces has a thermal pad on it. So I would hope that helps with heat dissipation. So as far as ports go, on the left side, we've got a lock port, some exhaust ventilation, a type A USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, and a type C USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, and a headphone and microphone jack. And then on the right side, we've got some more exhaust ventilation, a type A USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, a full size SD card reader. This I'm really excited about because for creatives, when we can just put an SD card straight into the computer without a dongle, we love the crap out of that. And another type A USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. And then on the back, we've got more exhaust ventilation, a DC in power port, an HDMI port, an RJ45 Ethernet jack, a Thunderbolt 4 port, and a DisplayPort 1.4. Power cable in, let's turn it on. There's their dragon logo they're obsessed with. Ooh, the little light bar turned on. That looks beautiful. It's almost like a smoky liquid. Does not feel like your traditional LEDs. It looks really cool. Okay, now let's open up MSI Center and see what that's all about. So we got our monitor for CPU and GPU usage, features, general settings, not too many settings on here, feature sets, user scenario, so your fan profile settings. So it looks like to play with our lighting effects, we need to go into this Steel Series 3 engine. We've got MSI Aurora, that's for the cool little glow bar here on the front. Flux, that's pretty cool. Macaw. What does Macaw do? Interesting. Red alert. That's intense. Stars and stripes. Just red and orange. I think the default looks the coolest. So right now by default it's at the brightest it goes. Turn off light bar when lid is closed. Oh, so you can actually keep the light bar on when it's closed. Blue flash. That's for the popo. I like how when it's turned off it just looks like black glossiness. Ooh, disco. Wow, that's fancy. Dragon shield. Fire. Oh, nice. Flux. Plain. That's just a solid on and rainbow. Pew. Then to adjust the colors on your keyboard, you go into this section, bunch of cool animations on here. This is probably the darkest RGB keyboard I've ever used. Not very bright at all. At least the secondary keys are illuminated though. So far this laptop is looking pretty nice, but we won't know the full extent of its greatness or not so greatness until we run our full live benchmarks on Wednesday and then our full review on Friday. It's definitely the thickest next gen laptop that I've come across. So I hope that that's gonna translate to some great thermals. Guys, remember every week I do a giveaway that randomly selects someone who's interacted with this channel. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with notifications turned on and stay tuned for that each week. And the winner for this week is... Psy Next Gen. Hostile eliminated. Crash wasted. Let's jump. UAV is dead in black. Oh, for that. That's a just that's no good spot. Inbound on my grid. 